only way to get Anna and Frankie back is to give Quarry Dinobots that I don't have. Excuse me, Doctor. Dinobots you don't have yet. When I heard this was about Dinobots, I took the liberty of calling the original. From what the Chief has told me, it appears the best course of action is to offer myself and Boulder in our dino forms to Quarry. Once we're there, we can rescue the others. But Quarry's expecting five Dinobots. We still need three more. I can scan a dino form too. Why should you guys have all the fun? <laughs> Chase? It would be a violation of the Rescuebot Oath not to join you. Um, well... Blades, we know your bravery is boundless. But the choice to help is always yours. Although it is something Bumblebee would do. Oh, all right. I'll do it. But this time, I don't want to be a flying thing. Come on, again? Energon patch is ready, Optimus. One for each of you. No dino rampages this time. Excellent. As long as our Energon levels remain stable, we can control our dino modes. Boulder, have you prepared your colleagues for taking on a new form? Ready as we'll ever be. Rescue bots, scan and transform. Whoa, this guy and I were practically made for each other. Oh, an odd but not entirely unpleasant sensation. And that could come in handy. Haha, <laughs> didn't get to try that last time. Works pretty well. It's no good. I definitely won't need this. I'll never transform again, and I've ruined the plan. Maybe something just came loose. Want me to check under your dash? Just tell me if you see green spots. Oh, or red ones, but not blue. If you see blue spots, I don't even want to know. We need to get out of sight. Good luck, Doc. You'll have to make some excuse about the fifth dino. Optimus, I'm sure you'll bring everyone back safe and sound. You have my word. Blades, hide! Quarry's here. Uh, who turned out the lights? Stand still and try to look more Terra whatever ish. But Heatwave? It's too late. I can't get out without being seen. Don't worry, I'll climb out after they leave. Quarry, where is Professor Baranova? You promised you'd bring her and my da my lab back. And you promised me five dino bots. What's wrong with this one? It's, uh, unfinished, but nearly complete, I, I promise. Do you now? Good. You're coming along, Dr. Green. You can finish it on my island. Once you're done, I'll return your colleague and your floating lab. Two drones, prepare for takeoff! Or I could go along. We better get back to the firehouse. Cody, I want you to... Where's Cody? Wasn't he with you? He climbed into Blades for a minute, but I thought he... Oh, no. Cody. Take your temperature, cause Griffin Rock has dolphin fever! Hello everyone, I'm Huxley Prescott, and this is opening day of the Dolphin Wonder Festival. Sir, I had no idea Griffin Rock possessed this many licensed drivers. A lot of visitors, Chase. They come over on the ferry. First day of the festival is always like this. I must admit, I failed to see the appeal of watching identical sea mammals swim past the island. I just hope it turns out better than last year. Hardly any dolphins showed up. <laughs> the mayor resorted to wearing a dolphin suit to keep the tourists from leaving. He made little kids cry. We're now 
here at the marina, where I spy with my little eye a glint of sunlight, a clump of seaweed, or maybe the first dolphin of the festival. on it. and rescue robots, only here in Griffin Rock. I'm Huxley Prescott. More cars. I really shouldn't be leaving. Oh, go have fun, Dad. We'll be fine. We can take care of ourselves. Please stay! The last time Cade was in charge, he made us wax the garage floor. Nothing wrong with seeing your reflection when you look down. Well, my reflection. Don't worry, Chief. We can handle anything the festival or Cade can throw at us. I only wish I could accompany you to the Peace Officers Conference. It sounds most informative. Yeah, but always way too long. Nevertheless, please take copious notes. Kids, since Doc and Frankie are out of town, I've asked someone to keep an eye on things. That's code for babysitter, isn't it? Oh, believe me, he's no babysitter. Hello, family of heroes. Uncle Woodrow. Welcome back. I thought you were on safari. Wait, is this Grandpa's old convertible? <laughs> the old jalopy itself. He had some fun joyriding around in this old tuna boat, didn't we, Charlie? Uh, best car ever. Indeed. And how are my favorite humans and aliens? Excuse me, <laughs> aliens, eh? A little louder. The rest of the island didn't hear you. What? You're still keeping that a secret around here? Yes, and so are you. Oh, gotcha. But hey, Cybertronians, let's chat later, huh? I want to hear more about your world and your culture. We'd love to. The festival will be keeping everyone plenty occupied. And I expect Cody and I will be running the joint, right? <laughs> Woodrow, we talked about this. <laughs> Just kidding, Charlie. I won't participate in the rescues. Hey, I'm not official. Did you bring us any cool gifts, Uncle Woodrow? From my safari? Dry roasted beetles. You can't eat just one. I'll take your word for it. 
That's my cue. I'll see you all next week. Bye, Dad. We'll see be you fine, soon, Charlie. We'll you. Have fun, Dad. Since I can't be seen without a driver, I will be walking home. Care to join me, Cody? Nah, little chief is cruising it old school with his uncle, right? You bet. See you at home, Chase. Of course. Enjoy the jalopy ride. <laughs> This is Chase's spot. Ah, he won't mind. Besides, I need to get into the kitchen. I have big plans for dinner. Cool. What you fixing? Baked hack louie A little recipe I picked up in the Calliope rainforest. What's in it? A cornucopia of ingredients. But since you didn't have any eggs from the Wampoo fruit dove, I had to improvise. <laughs> yeah, smells like feet. Graham's feet. Tastes pretty good. Got a kick a to it. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Told you those roasted beetles were yummy. You're dripping oil, aren't you? This ought to be far enough. Now, let's get this over with. I have serious doubts these beacons will attract dolphins to the island, sir. The ad said they emit the whooshing sound of a swimming squid. Dolphins like squid. What could go wrong? You bought them at a flea market, Mayor. With a coupon. Look, it's this or you're wearing that dolphin costume. Um, let's check the directions. <laughs> check the directions. No need. The beacons are water activated. Yeah, with dolphins chasing these little wonders around the island, tourists will be here all week. <laughs> it says here to release one every 50 feet to avoid interference with boat operations. Time is of the essence, Mr. Alper. Come on. to school, Uncle Woodrow. Most of the time, I just take my hoverboard. No trouble at all, little chief. Gives me a chance to drive Chase. How you doing anyway, Chase? Fine, sir. Exactly how long will you and your car be in town? Emergency dispatch. Help! My yacht is on a collision course with the South Shore! <gasps> We're coming, Mr. Mayor. Team, the mayor's yacht is about to crash into the beach. We have to respond, Uncle Woodrow. Hot dog! I'm on a rescue! Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Attention, please evacuate the beach immediately. Kaboom! Hurry! Go, go, go! My balloon! It's moving way too fast! It looks like the yacht is gonna hit before you guys get here. Danny, listen. Remember the game you used to play with your dolls and toy boats down by the creek? Yeah, why bring that up? Blades can be the ramp. Be the what? Be the what? I think it'll work, Danny. Hurry. Oh, boy. What? Oh, boy. You know I don't like oh, boys. Drop into the surf blades and convert to bot mode. Oh. Now, fall forward and prop yourself up. Oh, boy. Ugh. All the hair-brained ideas. Hey, it worked. Here's... Someone is getting a medal for this. Ow, 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 ow. 
It's a water beacon, all right. Advertised as a dolphin lure. I wonder if the mayor was dropping those in the ocean. Wouldn't put it past him. Doesn't seem right making dolphins go where they don't want to. According to our own emergency responders, credit for this morning's daring rescue belongs to Woodrow Burns. Good job, Uncle Woodrow. Yeah, yeah, no more. <laughs> Therefore, until the return of Chief Burns, I am naming Woodrow temporary acting chief of Griffin Rock. I love Uncle Woodrow, but there's no way he's telling us how to do our jobs. Chief Woodrow, your reaction. <laughs> I'm. Speechless. Mayor, how about a few words? Though I am reminded of the time I was made honorary tribal leader for the tree people of Tatui. I was then expected to jump into an active volcano as a sacrifice to the lava gods. Whoa! I guess Uncle Woodrow is now official. Chase, I'm ready. Uh, ready for what, sir? Ooh. What does Charlie usually do? The chief can often be found working in the command center. Typically not wearing someone else's clothing. Danny, some dolphin balloons are tangled in the wind turbines and- You know, Danny, once when trying to get coconuts from a tall tree, I used a high-powered crossbow and- Uh, thanks, Uncle Woodrow. We'll just climb up. Kate! Reports of a grease fire in one of the festival food trucks. Whoa! Can't put water on a grease fire, Cade. Graham, get Boulder to bury the entire food truck with sand. What? We're equipped to handle grease fires, Unc. Thanks, though. <coughs> Uncle Woodrow, maybe you... Allow me. Emergency dispatch. What? Don't worry, I'll be right there. Take over, Cody. Chase and I are needed. A man's been trapped in a tree for over three hours. Poor Mr. Pennypaws. <laughs> but Uncle Woodrow, he's not a... He belongs to... I guess you'll figure it out. Clear. No breakfast. Oh, darn. I was looking forward to Uncle Woodrow's fried lizard tail omelets. I wonder where he is. Probably dabbing antiseptic on all the cat scratches he got from Mr. Pettypaws. <laughs> 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 oh, come on, guys. Un Uncle Woodrow, w w we didn't mean that... No, it's okay, kids. I, I know I get carried away. I guess... It just felt good being a part of this family. And don't worry, I'll stay out of the rescues. Well, nice one, guys. What? You're, You're the one who... Cade! Rescue team, we have an outright dolphin disaster on our hands. How can we have a festival of our main attractions are stranded upriver in the wetlands? Those dolphins won't survive like that much longer. Rescue bots, roll to the rescue! Uncle Woodrow, come on! No, I promise to stay out of the way. Kay, Danny, and Graham were just goofing around. I'll be fine, Cody. But Chase needs a driver, right, Chase? That is correct, unless I want to walk, which I do not. <laughs> if you insist. Rescue bot, roll to the rescue! Uh, only Heatwave says that. Oh, sorry. For some reason, the dolphin swam upriver here, then doubled back down into the wetlands here. I don't get it. 
Why can't they just swim back out? I imagine they're scared and confused. That I get. More beacons. They must have made a wrong turn and ended up here. And the dolphins followed them. Such beautiful creatures. We have to do something. We will. Better hurry. Dolphins can easily overheat out of the water. We'll grab those beacons. But carry the dolphins over that berm to the river. The current will take them back out to sea. Got it. Let's move. Sorry about all this, fella. these dolphins free before we run out of time. Like we have other options. I do have an idea. Uh, no offense, Unc, but... We need to do something. Uncle Woodrow, what do you have in mind? Well, if we can raise the water level, I think I can convince the dolphins to leap back into the river on their own. Convince the dolphins? Yeah, I used to communicate with the species quite a lot while exploring the Marshall Islands. Well, even if you could, Uncle Woodrow, how would we raise the water? Good news is, the wetlands are drained by only two outlets. And all we'd have to do is block those up, right? I say it's worth a try. All right, let's do it. I would like to see a certain convertible jalopy do that. Heat wave? Bullhorn, please. This I gotta see. I'm a little rusty, but here goes. Come on, swim Just this way! Jump on over, dolphins! Don't be scared. You can do it! The dams are failing. Ugh. Why isn't this working? I should have known better. Wait, Uncle Woodrow, you said you talked to the dolphins in the Marshall Islands. That's in the Pacific Ocean. Don't they have different dolphins there? Yes! I'm speaking Pacific white-sided dolphin, not Atlantic. <laughs> They're actually listening to him. I want to speak dolphin. Woodrow, don't ever think you're not part of this family. Only a Burns could pull something like that off. Now I see why people come out here to watch him. I want a dolphin. Well, maybe just one of those balloons? <laughs> the festival is saved! Thank you, Mr. Alper, you can change now. Mmm, homemade pizza. The perfect welcome home feast. Thanks for fixing it, Woodrow. I love cooking for my family. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> no hint mm. of feet at all. I realize my culinary choices are kind of unusual. Once you get past first impressions, they're not so bad, are they? <laughs> Maybe kind of like me. That's my brother. Acquired taste. Mmm, this really is good. And some people don't think bat milk cheese is very tasty. <laughs> Kidding! Ever try milking a bat? They're very moody. 
<laughs> this isn't really bad milk cheese, is it? Although I will have to clean up your oil spot, you have safeguarded your humans. For that, you have my respect. Take care of everyone, little chief. Bye, Uncle Woodrow. Thanks again. Long, huh? Safe travels. Send a postcard. Mm -hmm.